Hi, these are the grades to help you with our project that we're doing for Canada Regions. Our learning target, again, remember, it's geographic. It's an informational field trip, and you're looking at different places in your province or your territory. We are presenting on March 26th. Remember, at first, you copied and pasted your map from worldatlas.com. And then as you are writing your list of locations needed to have a name of a place and the direction. So Rocky Mountains located their locations of those places in the southwest. You highlighted five to seven of these places. Calgary, Great Plains, so in the Plains region of Alberta, Banff National Park, those are places. You highlighted five of them that are in Alberta, not places that border it but places in Alberta, you need five to seven that we will visit on this field trip. And they should be highlighted on your document. Then you ask questions. So the places you highlighted, you have a list of questions, you're gonna highlight the one. So if you had Calgary, you might have what is Calgary like? You might have what activities would you do in Calgary? What attractions like museums or theaters would you visit in Calgary? So you need good questions. You can always fix them. It's not graded yet. Fix those questions. Make sure they're good questions. Highlight about two for each of the five places that, you are, that you're going to describe in your project. Remember today, as you go into your document, don't touch Chromebooks yet, freeze. When you go into Google Classroom, you need the gray button to open your document and get back in the document we've been working in the last two days. Help your partner make sure they are where they are so that you guys can get both get finished. Yesterday we talked about, so you highlighted your seven places. You highlighted your questions. Your document should look just like this example. You have the slides in Google Classroom. Please go back and make sure you are following the directions. You don't see the name of your province. You see name of places on the map. That were, those were the directions. Today you are going to continue using the websites in the document in Google Classroom or using the Canadian Encyclopedia or Frommers like I showed you yesterday. Continue researching, looking at the menus on the website to get as much information and read, not just looking at pictures, read about your place and write a description. This part two is describing what it would be like to visit these places. You must have a mix. Some of them need to be human places like museums, cities that humans have built. Some of them need to be physical outdoor places like rivers, lakes, national forests, national parks, canyons, waterfalls that you would go and visit. When you are on Frommers, be sure to avoid the ads. This slide reminds you, when you search, search for your province or your territory name. Don't go in and search for a name of a museum. Frommers isn't going to have that. Search for your province or territory and then read about it and look for information on Edmonton or on Calgary or on a fort, a town in the north. Make sure you're reading carefully. Make sure you're on the part of the site that says Frommers. When you are on the site, remember these are helpful, the planning a trip, the in-depth tells you more about that region. There's lots of travel. Each one of these are links as you go down that menu. Now some places, territories like the Northwest Territories, are going to be more difficult. The towns are smaller. There aren't going to be as many human features. There's a lot more nature. So you're going to have to emphasize and find enough places, emphasize which areas that people would go to visiting those. For your notes today, you are starting with those questions you highlighted back in this document, right here where you highlighted. You write the question, you read the website, and you take down the notes. You do not need to be talking with your partner because you have different places. You can help, you can whisper once in a while to help each other, but Mr. Music has the right, or any sub that's in the room, to move you from sitting next to your partner because you can work by yourself on this part of the project. In order to stay next to your partner, to have a little support and a little help, 
please be respectful and make sure that you're working quietly. And remember, today is the last day. You should have your five places described with really good notes by the end of this hour. If not, you need to work on it at home a little because we're going to go on to the next step to movement tomorrow. So please use your time wisely. You may go ahead and as soon as Mr. Music lets you, open up Chromebooks and get into Google Classroom. Continue with place. There doesn't need to be talking. You are researching quietly. Have a great day.